What is going on? Welcome back to Trading Stocks. Today is September the 19th. I want to give you a quick pre-market update, go over some of the hot movers and what big money is doing today. Before I get into any of that though, make sure you just hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, you do have initial jobless claims coming out in seven minutes, which in my opinion, yeah, is going to play a very big part for the November 7th meeting. But as far as killing the momentum today, I don't see that being feasible. Right now, the fear and greed index is under the greed category. So people's appetite for risk is there and very resemblant based on what I'm going to mention today. Futures, though, are very, very green. NASDAQ is up 2.16, S&P 1.65, and Dow 1.13. So I think initially the market was trying to digest that 50 basis points and kind of saw it largely as a negative, but they did see a lot of other kind of indexes around the world rally because of that. So then uh, I guess a lot of people just said, well, maybe it's not all that bad. And so ultimately... A redigesting of that and potentially it might be even pricing in future rate cuts as what Powell mentioned for the November and also December meeting then yeah essentially this is why you have a lot of optimism today so yeah let me know your thoughts on that SoFi right now is up 3.82 percent so it is getting to where it was kind of at its peak yesterday uh, no actual news from the company itself, no SEC filings, nothing along those lines. Shorts have been somewhat returning over the last couple uh, trading days, so they've been overextended, but 18.84% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 197.22 million shares overall are being shorted. And you can kind of just see briefly shorts returning from its highs of 19.26. So given the momentum, I would anticipate shorts to return some shares today which again will just add more buying pressure right now though with at eight dollars and 43 cents it is trading between these two points so the r1 and r2 so 831 will be a strong support that you'll want to watch for 885 will be the next strong resistance slash target moving on pounds here is getting a lot of good volume and so it's kind of signaling that it will be at a new 52 week high because it's already above that right now no official news but there's a couple of things that did come out that's really pushing it higher one of which was this so palantir bags 100 million u.s army contract so it looks like the service completion date is september 24th 2029 and palantir has been a beast for pretty much set on up all these deals partnerships just it's uh going to be a very very large money maker but there's one individual that thinks it's a meme stock and a fugazi which most likely is attributing to why it is going up and that is jim kramer so inverse kramer uh what a lot of people like to say so he just said palantir is a cult stock it is a meme stock it is uh that has momentum because individual investors keep piling into it it is not even a um not even really a stock it is a barometer of enthusiasm of those of some business that may or may not be doing well so yeah honestly kind of funny i think this is probably the most bullish point of everything so yeah let me know your thoughts on that i do agree with him though that a lot of investors just keep piling into it really propelling it higher um a lot higher than what any analyst did forecast so something to keep in mind but then again i like to look at this so shorts as a true as what jim kramer said barometer of enthusiasm so it's good to see what shorts are doing right if shorts are doubling down they're feel confident that the underlying stock is going to go down but as you can kind of see shorts have been just getting out and out it is right now 2.9 percent of the free float so very low stuff and right now uh with it at 37 and change it is trading between the r2 and r3 so 38.23 will be the strong support or sorry resistance slash target 36.87 will be the strong support moving on plug it did uh, just announce this um, in the morning. So Plug Power launches a equipment lease financing program. So that's what is getting a lot of attention today, 5.71%. Uh, it is very heavily shorted. So I'm sure that is going to have some um, kind of influence on it today. But 
34.73% of the free flow is being shorted, works out to be 284.4 million shares. So you might see a little bit more uh, volatility today attributed to just the short aspect, but right now with it at $2 and change, it is trading between this pivot and R1. So 209 will be a strong support that you wanna watch for, and then 234. I do feel given the momentum, it might touch this R1, but we've seen this happen before where a lot of stocks are extremely green. And then once the market opens, there is a sell off because this upcoming Friday for the options chain is a quadruple witching. So usually does bring a lot of volatility. So just uh, anticipate that. Neo. So Neo is up 5.18% this morning. No actual news, but they are unveiling their uh, Envo, um, if I'm saying that right, brand. And so that is a very big event for them. I think a lot of people have been waiting a long time for this. And so, yeah, essentially that is a huge catalyst. And plus, uh, aside from that, I think it went down way too much yesterday, down 7.21%. 13.89% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 185.45 million shares. With it right now at 529, it is right below this pivot. So 532, just watch for it to get above that. That'll be the resistance slash target. Next level will be 566. And then 497 will be the strong support. Didn't touch that yesterday. So uh, again, just kind of watch for a lot of these support and resistance points. And finally, last but not least, NVIDIA is getting a lot of volume. It is up 3.19%. And they kind of put this news out, or that's just uh, not even associated to them. So it looks like no actual news for that. Not heavily shorted, so 1.18% of the free floats being shorted. Works out to be 277.25 million shares. Pre-market though, shorts are already increasing 694,000 shares. With it at 116 and change, it is trading between this pivot and R1. So 114 will be the strong support, and then 121 will be the next strong resistance slash target. I think a lot of big money is still looking at NVIDIA, but now I feel like they're not the focal point of the broader market. So people aren't looking for it. Oh, it's up today. That means we must be optimistic. It's down. We must be bearish. I think people are starting to branch out and look at other stocks once again. So uh, that's uh, maybe a good thing, bad thing. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. So yeah, do you guys own any of these stocks or... Is there any other stocks that's floating your boat that you are really watching or buying today? And if so, which ones? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. One final thing, definitely take advantage of this promo. It is only up until September the 30th. Simply sign up for a new account and they do give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. This is a kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that, appreciate all of you watching.